Hello, this is Aaron, KV9L with Ham Radio Today. In this video, we're diving into the basics of Morse code timing, how to get those dits and daws and spaces just right. To start, we're going to be looking at the waveform for the letter S, which consists of three dits. It's simple, but perfect example to understand the rhythm and timing of Morse code. In Morse code, the dit is the simplest, shortest sound you'll encounter. It serves as the basic unit of time, often referred to as one unit. Think of it as the building block for everything else in Morse code. Now I'll show you the letter T in Morse code, which is represented by a single DA. As you can see in the waveform, the DA is a long, steady tone that lasts three times the duration of a DIT. Its simplicity makes T one of the easiest letters to recognize and a great starting point for understanding Morse code timing. Now let's refer back to the waveform for the letter S, which consists of three DITs. Notice the small gaps between each dit? These are called intra-character spaces, and they're just as important as the dits themselves. The intra-character space is always equal to one unit of time, whether it's between dits, daws, or a combination of both. This brief pause ensures that each sound remains distinct, preventing the dits and the daws from blending together into a single tone. Maintaining this rhythm of sound and silence is crucial for sending clear and readable Morse code. Now let's look at the waveform for the letters S and T together. Between the end of the last dit in S and the start of the DA and T, you'll notice a slightly longer pause. This is called the inter-character space. The inter-character space is the silence between letters within the same word, and it always lasts for three units of time, or a T. This pause ensures that the letters are distinct, making it easier to decode the message. However, it's important to note that with prosigns, this rule does not apply. In prosigns, the letters are combined without intercharacter spacing, creating a continuous sound. We'll cover prosigns and how they work in a future video. Let's take a look at this waveform showing two words, am and at. First, you'll notice the small spaces between the individual dits and daws within each letter. These are the intercharacter spaces. Next, the slightly longer gaps between the letters in each word, like between the A and the M, or between the A and the T, are the inter-character spaces. Finally, focus on the much longer pause between the words am and at. This is the interword space, and it's the longest pause in Morse code, lasting seven units of time. This extended pause clearly separates words ensuring that the message remains easy to understand. By recognizing these distinct spaces, you can better appreciate how Morse code uses timing to create rhythm and clarity. And that wraps up our breakdown of Morse code timing. We've covered the basics of dits and daws, explored intra and inter character spacing, even looked at the importance of inter word spacing to keep messages clear and readable. Timing is the heartbeat of Morse code, whether you're sending a single letter or a full sentence, mastering these rhythms is the key to effective communications. Thank you for joining me, Aaron, KV9L with Ham Radio Today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you don't miss future videos.